Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? This is Jessica, and it's Trusting True to Row. Thank you guys so much for my new subscribers, old subscribers. What's up? Through this channel, we are healing, we're growing, we are evolving, okay? So you already know that this is a daily reading. This reading can be a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. Hopefully, you hear this message when you're intended to hear this message, and hopefully, it assists you in some way, okay? So, with further ado, let's get into this reading. Pisces, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Smash that like button for me, okay? So, Pisces, what I'm seeing here is that you are overly protective of something in your energy. Like, I have never seen anyone like this before. Like, this is the energy of where no one can get through no one can get access in or out. You're very guarded. You're overly protective of your creations is what I'm hearing. So this may be something that is very near and dear to your heart. This may be something that you are very much, you know, uh, that brings you so much joy and happiness. This could be a child. But what it looks to me is that you're very much guarded. You're on guard. And I'm hearing you saying, stay away, back away, stay away. Or maybe you're kind of like putting up this barrier for someone. I mean, you really mean it. Like you're not playing. Um, you're coming from a place of pain. Uh, you're coming from a place of sorrow. So it's like you want to protect someone that you love from the pain that you felt. Or you're trying to protect someone from the sorrow or the pain that you felt. Or maybe you're protecting them from pain and hardship. But whatever it is, it's like... It's like you're trying to shield someone and you're trying to protect someone from feeling some type of pain and sorrow that you once felt or you don't want them to go through the same thing that you've went through. So you're being very, very much controlling, very controlling. OK. And I feel like you you lack confidence in a situation based off of the experience that you may have gone through the heartache the pain the betrayal see what i'm saying and i do feel like what's coming towards you is very much your energy so this is a strong like divine feminine energy popping up here um, and divine masculine energy is popping up here. So what's going on is that you're manipulating yourself to not have growth in abundance or happiness. To not experience this. Like you're literally, man what's happening is that you're manipulating your own happiness or someone else's happiness in a situation. You're manipulating yourself not to have growth, abundance, prosperity, and happiness in your life. Or maybe this is someone else's life. Maybe this is your child's life. But what's going on is that um, you're also creating for whoever to come towards you. You're creating like this energy in this person so whoever's coming towards you, it's almost like they feel they don't have what it takes to make you happy. Their energy is almost like they feel like they lack the potential or they don't have the tools to make something better with you um, or maybe even better for a child. And it really has a lot to do with you not stepping into that divine feminine energy. Um, instead, you're trying to like... Ugh. You're lacking confidence and you're trying to control how everything is going to go. <clears throat> and because you're taking on so much energy and it's like you're taking away from the divine masculine. So if you're a divine feminine, you're taking away the, you know, the energy, the life force of the divine masculine by making them or your or another like connection here by making them feel like they don't have the potential or that like they're not enough or they don't feel like they have what it takes, okay? Because you're taking on so much energy. And this energy is coming from like this low vibrational energy. Um, this also could be coming from like your own childhood or your own experience, your own pain, your own suffering. Um, so it's like whatever is coming towards you, whoever is coming towards you, they feel like they don't have what it takes. They can't tap into this magician energy. They can't tap into you know, this, this full potential, 
you know, to make things better or to provide happiness and prosperity and abundance. (laughs) And that's what I'm seeing. Okay. Like Pisces, I feel like it's you. You will not allow it to happen. You won't allow this to come into your life. So if you are going to control everything, how can someone live up to their fullest potential? It's almost like a child. If you're going to control everything a child does, if you're going to like, you know, assert your will and, you know, control everything someone does, how can they freaking live up to their fullest potential? Same thing as in a mate or a partner. They're not going to be able to take on that role. They're not going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, tap into that that potential of theirs, you know. Um, so I hope that this helps and assists you. I do see that the advice here is to heal your inner child, okay. Pisces, it's time to heal your inner child. This is what's going on. You need to heal your inner child. That's all it is. There's something here in regards to your inner child that needs healing, okay? Spirit is saying it's time for you to heal that inner child because if you do not heal that inner child, then you then there will be blockages that you are going to put on people that are coming towards you. They can't live up to their full ex. They can't live up to your full expectations. They can't live up to their full expectations because you haven't healed your inner child and you are becoming so overly controlling, overly protective because you're, you're hurt. You're still hurting and you don't want to either continue to get hurt or to feel that type of pain anymore, or you don't want someone that you love like a child to feel that same pain that you've once felt. 